The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Professional wrestling. A game of contrast. A game of juxtaposition. Which on the surface, when you look at Effie and you look at Alan Angels, five of the Dark Order, you see two very different athletes, but I can tell you, there is not much different about where we began. In the swamps, in the heat, in the forests of Georgia, Alan Angels and Effie cut their teeth, but our paths diverged out there on that Robert Frost wood. And you went and proved yourself on a national scale, from jabroni to, to full-fledged member of the Dark Order. You're there every week now, pal. You're a television superstar. You're a sensation around the world, and Effie is out here. I am foraging through what feels like endless vines and jungle trees and poisonous berries, and yet we both persist. Differing paths, similar beginnings, and Effie might be a little bit of a jokester sometimes, but now, here at home for Championship Wrestling from Atlanta, I get to show what we do out here on the Outlaw Mud Show scene. And I get to show it against one of TV's best. So, Alan Angels, tighten those boots up, because five is about to go over to six nine. scored what many would say was an upset victory. Alex Chamberlain did not take kindly to it. A, just an insidious attack. And from what we are told, Darian Bengston not only has a cervical fracture, but also has a number of lumbar strains as well. In other words, Darian Bengston, he's struggling to walk right now. We certainly wish him the best, as Alex Chamberlain and Gustavo are set for action here, one on one. We absolutely do. And, you know, it's it's interesting, too, because, Costa, you were talking about how, you know, it's nonstop motion for Gustavo. When I was trying to get a word with him before the match, he was listening to some salsa music that had me, like, tapping my toes. He's already got the gyrations going. It's, again, this wonderful energy. And look, just... Hey, Alyssa, when the music's in your head, you can dance to anything. And that's exactly what Gustavo, he, uh, music's a huge part of his life. It helps his rhythm in the ring, according to what he's told us. Absolutely. It's all, it's all part of that, that energy, the energy he delivers, the enthusiasm, the spirit. But just unshakable is the, the demeanor of Chamberlain. Meanwhile, Alex Chamberlain looks like he'd be wearing a raincoat talking about Huey Lewis and the news. Hey, I like Huey Lewis and the news. Well, oh! oh. Overwhelming quickness here by Gustavo early on, and now a right forearm in the corner. 
And now Gustavo obviously looking to make a name for himself in his debut match here. And, oh! Of course, Gustavo also a standout from Ohio Valley Wrestling, OVW, has been there for quite some time now, establishing a fan base all up and down the East Coast. And now Chamberlain may not, oh, just oh. catches Gustavo before more damage could have been done. I mean, definitely smart of Chamberlain. You were talking about OVW. Currently, uh, OVW Rush champion is Gustavo. And he, he was described as someone that's very explosive oh. in the ring. And I think certainly the Chamberlain had that scouted. But the very wise Alex Chamberlain catches Gustavo. And, and now Gustavo playing a little bit of chase here as Chamberlain gets back in the ring. And oh! Right to the midsection, now Gustavo, not quite powerful enough, and just look how easily oh. Alex Chamberlain picks up Gustavo by the neck. Chamberlain laying it into Gustavo, and now popped Whoa, up. Oh, look out. Ooh, wow. Once again, Gustavo, so evasive. It's like, how can you how can you put your, your thumb on music, you know? You can't capture a beat. You can't, you know, hold a melody. But thus far, everyone very impressed with the rhythm and the athleticism of Gustavo, but Ooh. Alex Chamberlain has the power, he has the vicious attitude, and that is what has led him to so much success over the course of his career. Oh! Oh no, up on the shoulders, caught is Gustavo. And a mistake made, and oh. Alex Chamberlain smashes Gustavo face first, down to the canvas, oh my God, turns him inside out with a fist right to the side of the skull. Oh no, and the... Then the music stopped for Gustavo. And just look at the eyes of Alex Chamberlain. It's more of a callous Alex Chamberlain than we're used to. And a cover, Gustavo just stays alive here. But this is more than just a motivation in Alex Chamberlain, it seems. But, you know, I, I think we have to, we can't gloss over the fact that calculated is better for Gustavo than, you know, cold-hearted and vicious. Oh. But it's turning that way very quickly. Right across the lumbar spine. Looking to create an injury to this Gustavo here. And now you see all the tension on the neck, not to mention the abdomen. Center of the ring, Alex Chamberlain not going for style points here. Immediately into a cover here. Gustavo, with all his might, just gets the left shoulder up. The same way that Chamberlain took out Bankston, I don't think he would put anything past him to take out Gustavo as well. That's exactly what Chamberlain's all about. The more competitors that he's able to take out, the more he will succeed in the United Wrestling Network. Very brutish and arrogant, as we mentioned. Oh, but Gustavo, a desperate boot, connects, and now a back elbow. Can Gustavo find a way to get back in this matchup here? Oh, no. Oh, Quick. no. Caught him. Winding maneuvers, not enough to evade. Right into a cover, hooks the leg, center of the ring, and somehow Gustavo once again gets the shoulder up. Chamberlain, a little bit of lackadaisical on that pin attempt there. You think there's any part of Chamberlain that took a look at Gustavo, took a look at his, you know, lighthearted nature and, and maybe was looking past him already? I think you might be absolutely right on that. I mean, Alex Chamberlain certainly overlooked Darian Bankston, and there's a chance he was overlooking Gustavo. But right now... Speed's a factor. Uh-oh. Uh Chamberlain catches it. Oh! Hey! What a reversal into a DDT! by El Mas Caliente. Gustavo right into the cover, hooks the leg, and oh! Go Alex Chamberlain still in the fight, but just like that, Gustavo turning the tide. Ooh. Holy moly! Running knee connects, you can see Chamberlain trying to shake off the cobwebs into a cover, and no, Chamberlain is still in this matchup. Something still calling to Chamberlain, something that is awakening that calculated, cold, and cruel nature of him. Gustavo going for a super kick there, didn't quite get all of it. Chamberlain still on his feet, and another one, and down goes Chamberlain. Gustavo wasting no time into a cover once again, and oh, oh. so close. Devastatingly and dangerously close. I think a little too close for comfort for Alex Chamberlain. And many would say this is another upset in the making here, Alex Chamberlain, very, in a very dangerous situation here is Gustavo heading up to the top. Chamberlain on spaghetti legs, might not see Gustavo coming here off the top. Chamberlain catches him though. And, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh God, no, a oh! tombstone pile driver. 
just like that into the cover, and Chamberlain vanquishes Gustavo. Here is your winner, Alex Chamberlain. You know, Foster, they referred to Gustavo as the fire of Honduras, and I think Chamberlain has just put that fire out. Emphatically, Alex Chamberlain catches Gustavo in midair and pulverizes him with a tombstone pile driver, and you have to wonder if those eyes are looking directly at Darian Bankston as Alex Chamberlain, victorious tonight on Championship Wrestling, presented by Car Shield. Welcome back. Standing here with Mac. And Mac, you know, last week, yeah. big victory over yeah. Davari. Where are we going next? Listen, listen. First of all, I just want to talk about how happy I am that I debuted here in the main event and took down Davari. He was talking all that smack about my city, my championship city. You don't do that. And now he knows better. Now, though, I'm open. I'm excited. What's next? You know what's next? I have no idea. I don't know what's next, but I'm ready. You, you want to know what I think should be next, though? Tell us, tell us. How about this? How about this? What'd that say? Read that. Place title here. Place title here. <laughs> All right. Television championship, world championship, or the new heritage title, this man's ready. The following comes is a tag team match. Seth Rollins introducing first the combined weight of 400 pounds. The team of Jay Scott and Richard King, the Rapture. Well, listen, there's not a lot we know about Jay Sky and Richard King. They're very enigmatic individuals, and they certainly scored a win over Beef Can just a few weeks ago. And in their eyes, they are looking to take over the entire United Wrestling Network tag team division. I think the thing about the Rapture that's important to know is that wherever they go since they started teaming together, they have been a dominant force, and they're looking to prove it right here at Championship Wrestling. This is just another roster for them to conquer. This is a match many believe have been going for quite some time with the Tate Twins. Of course, they got a close look at a Tate Twins victory a few weeks ago. And third place, first, weighing in at 167 pounds from Knoxville, Tennessee, this is Brandon Tate. Uh, uh, Alyssa, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. We were supposed to be seeing Brent and Brandon, the Tate Twins, who have been undefeated thus far, but... We only have Brandon on his way to the ring. Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious how what, what happens now. What? It's Where is Brent? Possibility we, we could have a handicap match. I, I've never seen, quite frankly, the Tate Twins not together. Uh, Brandon has something to say here. All right, as you guys can see, my brother and I are scheduled to be a tag team action tonight against Rapture Blonde and Rapture Uso. Sadly, my brother's not able to make it this week. And unfortunately, that leaves me without a tag team partner. You got me? Y'all want him to tag with me? I got an idea. I got an idea. We'll talk later, man. Hit the gym. But look, tonight, how about Tate? How about Tate Twin Brandon versus these two fools? One on two. Wow. Whoa. That's I can do it. Let's go. Let's run it. You want to run it? Oh, yo. Really? You don't believe it? That's a lot of confidence from Brandon Tate, well, look, willing to take on the Rapture single-handedly. To give him credit, he signed the contract, and for some reason, Brent Tate is not here. Brandon Tate never backs down, and looks like we're about to have one on two. Oh, wait a minute. Melissa, we know that music. Oh, ho, ho. I know those shades anywhere. 
Introducing his tag team partner from Kearns, Utah. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the man, the brand, the king of the lemonade stand, Manny Lemons. I, you know, the, the smell of citrus is just wafting through the air. Yeah. It's, it's very energizing, and uh, I'm in good spirits, but what kind of time does Manny Lemons have to Brandon Tate? That's what I want to know. Certainly none as far as I can tell, but we talk about Brandon Tate never backing down. We know Manny Lemons is always up for a fight, and that's apparently what we're about to have. Manny Lemons is about to team up with Brandon Tate. There's no question. We've never seen this before. This is very true. We have, This is a uh, first-time matchup and first-time teammates. As and well. We're starting to see a, a little bit of a concerned look on the face of Jay Sky and Richard King. Oh, maybe oh. not. Right in, into the attack here. Just as the bell rung, we are underway now. Richard King, the legal competitor, starting off here with Brandon Tate. And Alicia, I have to wonder, quick tag here. What's this going to be like for Brandon Tate? He's been a partner with his brother for their entire lives. There, I mean, you know the statement, blood is thicker than water. This is something where the Tates have Whoa. been... Unstoppable. Oh. oh, okay. There's the elusiveness of Brandon Tate on display here. And now a springboard cross body taking down both Jay Sky and Richard King in a drop kick. And there's the uncanny athleticism we've come to enjoy from the Tate twins. But tonight, Brandon Tate in his own right. You know, the Tate twins usually something that we experience in stereo. And now, you know, it's just we've switched it up a little. And a glass of lemonade now entering the match. Manny Lemons tagging in here and Thus far, tremendous teamwork here by Tate and Lemons. And especially for first time teaming up, the uh, the cohesion is, is pretty impressive. And you have to think for Manny Lemons' sake, you know, tag, he hasn't had the most success thus far. So, you know, he's chomping at the bit for competition. He wants to get a win under his belt. And what a great opportunity this is. A double back elbow to Richard King. And now a double okay. elbow drop. Manny Lemons really showing the fact that he still has a zest for life. And, you know, some people say that they're on the grind. Man, he's on the rind, you know? Well, look, he's the king of positivity. Another tag here. Now, Manny Lemons entering this matchup once again. And how about the quick tags between Brandon Tate and Manny Lemons? So impressive. It, it, it truly is something where, I mean, Manny staying as, as fresh as a freshly squeezed lemon. Oh, boy. Body slam to Richard King by the powerhouse Manny Lemons, who has gotten himself in such tremendous shape throughout the pandemic. A lot of credit there, a tag in to Brandon Tate, who's looking to take a high risk here. Up on the top of no, here comes Jay oh. Sky. Jay Sky perhaps out of desperation, swatted away, but just oh. enough time for Richard King to take full advantage. And oh boy, he's got Brandon Tate in the trio. Whoa, this is not where he wants to be, a tag in. And now another tag in. We're about to see a patented Rapture double team oh. here. And Richard King flies in, double basement drop kicks right to the chin. Such dangerous cohesion from the Rapture. These are, these are two gentlemen that are starting a, a fresh, new experience on their terms. Well, certainly is. As the official Jeez. trying to get control here is now Jay Sky, the legal competitor. These cyberpunk Blade Runners now have control of Brandon Tate. Well, and that's the thing too, Johnny, is that the Raptors, since they started, have been capturing gold everywhere. They want to be in the United World Tag Team title picture. And thus far, ooh, vertical suplex there by Jay Sky, right into the cover, hooks the leg of Brandon Tate, who's able to kick out. And you're absolutely right, Alyssa. They've been undefeated here in the United Wrestling Network. They've made it very clear they have their sights set on the United Tag Team titles tag. But now with Brent Tate nowhere to be found, that's all up in the air. This can totally shift the Ooh. entire complexion of this division with the Tates being so dominant. King into a cover, and Brandon Tate once again kicks out a two. Of course, the Rapture, they made it very clear on social media, their mission is to either save the world or own it, whichever happens first. Also, whatever that means is Jay Sky tagging back in, and this is where the Rapture's at their best. Quick tags, slicing the ring in half as King tags back in. And that's the thing too, Johnny, is that they're not really concerned with doing things in a pretty or necessarily fair way. They're here to make an impact like Brandon Tate's body just made on the canvas. It's a great point, we've seen that. Their victory over Beef Candy. Uh, under interesting circumstances, mm. to say the least. They came down to get a closer look at the Tate's victory over Infamy. 
And of course, that all led up to this matchup right now as Brandon Tate, a bit of an opening there. Can he find a way to make the tag to Manny Lemons? Ooh, Richard King was going in, but able to evade was Brandon Tate. Can he make He's it to Manny? getting close. And once again, Richard King giving Chase there a grasp of the foot. Ooh, going for the high knee. Brandon Tate catches him. Going for the insigiri, coming up empty. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Incredible agility. Ooh, that one connects. Down goes King. Brandon Tate, not quite sure what corner he needs to get to. He's got Manny Lemons in his sights. Tate knows that he needs to tag his partner. He needs to keep this match alive. And he does. The King of the Lemonade Stand is a ball of fire. Clothesline to Sky, clothesline to King, and another. How about Manny Lemons? Manny Lemons is on fire. The Lemon Drop. And this is why it's important to always be ready. Manny Lemons coming to the aid of Brandon Tate into a cover. And Jay Sky able to kick out at two. Manny Lemons is, uh, I think, getting his groove back in this match. That's exactly what he needs to do. Look, Manny Lemons is the ultimate optimist, but he's had a couple of difficult matches here. So if he could, oh, what happened oh, there? come on. Oh, Richard King attacking. Brandon Tate from behind, sending him right into the barricade. You see Brandon Tate writhing in pain, now a tag into Richard King. Manny Lemons in a very difficult situation and here. And no partner to tag to as Brandon is incapacitated at ringside. Well, it was Brent without a partner to start, and now it's Manny without a partner, and this could be the beginning of the oh. end. Lemons is down in the center of the ring, and the rapture with the victory. Here are your winners, the rapture. Incredible maneuver by a dominant force to be reckoned with. One in the chamber on Manny Lemons was enough to put away the, the king of the lemonade stand. A very impressive victory for the Rapture. They continue to pile up impressive victories as they are going home with the W. As far as the Tate twins, well, their future remains to be seen. But the Rapture with the W. Tonight's main event presented by Car Shield, Effie versus Alan Angels in a first time matchup. It's good. Hey, I just, I just wanted to ask you a question. Have you let yourself go since the last time I saw you? When was that, like last week? I don't know. Uh, that's besides the point. You know, I really wanted to tell you, I used to watch you a lot when I was growing up, when I was little. And uh, you know, you should have taken your own advice. You gave me some great advice before I started having matches, when I was just training. And now look at me, way past you. Of Wait. course I paid the umpires off. Have you seen how terrible the Braves are? They could have won that by themselves. Listen, I gotta go, I gotta get back to work. Outlander Zicky Dice is a TV star. And what I just did is pay for more TV time. You, me, let's go. Ring, pronto, Iora, vamanos. Attention CPAP users with sleep apnea. You may have heard about the importance of cleaning your CPAP mask and supplies regularly, but we can't stress enough the importance of replacing your old CPAP supplies every 90 days to prevent infections and improve your overall health. With Medicare and private insurance, you may qualify to receive regular replacement supplies with free home delivery at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Improve your sleep and take control of your health with new Medicare-covered CPAP supplies every three months. The following contest is set for one frog. Introducing first from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 223 pounds, this is Outlandish Zicky Dice. As the Outlandish one is set for action, Alyssa, the real question is what offensive tactic hasn't Zicky Dice done to get attention over the past number of months? I mean, for Zicky's in ring debut, he challenged a member of our audience. A, a, a kid from our audience. And that was how he wanted to make his impact and I, I suppose to quote unquote get more airtime. That was his in ring debut. Not to mention what he did following the instant classic by Jonathan Gresham and Michael Bennett just completely ruined the music. Great, now he's gonna talk. Okay. Now he's interrupting you. 
would be the first. Bryce, you big fat idiot! You are wrong. There is no contest happening right now. Matter of fact, this television time has been paid for by Outlandish Ziggy Dice. You damn right. Last time I was here at Championship Wrestling, I issued a nice open challenge, and I gave one of these fat geeks the opportunity to win $5,000 of my money. They failed! But Logan Creed decided to stick his big freak nose in my business! So Logan Creed, you big old ex! I do not believe that Logan Creed. That certainly is not. Not quite sure who this is. And introducing his opponent from the end of the world, South America, weighing in at 18 kilos, the South American conqueror, Pedro Pablo. John, you may not be familiar with Pedro Pablo. I was able to uh, to chat with him, and, and this man is absolutely incredible. He has been representing his culture, his family, and the great wrestling that exists in South America. He left his home for just a month ago to make his way to live the American dream, to fulfill his lifelong dream of being a pro wrestler. And we just heard calling himself the South American Conqueror and Zicky Dice less than impressed at the appearance of Pedro Pablo. What a shock that Zicky Dice is already just looking past whoever his opponent is. Pedro Pablo, I think, is definitely someone, uh, you know, not to sneeze at because this is somebody who was born in Brazil, grew up in Chile, has been representing both countries, both oh. cultures throughout South America, and now it's... Well, unfortunately, oh. Pedro Pablo has not been studying the body of work at Zicky Dice. You can never trust the outlandish one. Oh, no. Oh, y you hate to see it. This is someone who, who came here to fulfill a dream. Oh, my. And is getting it crushed by Zicky Dice. That's what Zicky Dice is all about. And he's made everything about himself since the inception of Championship Wrestling presented by CarShield. Anything to get attention, stealing different television time, attacking people. We mentioned the Jonathan Gresham, Michael Bennett. A tremendous matchup we saw. Incredible. Zicky Dice at the end just deciding to come out and just destroy an audience member and then closing the broadcast by himself. I mean, every, Zicky Dice has Hold just on. gotten out of control as Pedro Pablo looking to fight back here, but Dice too powerful. I thought Pedro Pablo might have had a chance of maybe shutting Zicky up for five seconds. Oof. Back elbow there by Pablo, and now heading up to the second turnbuckle, perhaps. Oh, Meteora connects! How okay, about that? Pedro! Zicky Dice missing wildly now. Russian leg sweep by Pedro Pablo, and Zicky oh. Dice wisely rolling to the outside. Pedro Pablo, impressive thus far. Can he find a way to upset Zicky Dice? Hello everybody and welcome to Fight in 60. I'm Josh Chernoff. Let's take a quick look at everything Fight has to offer this week in the world of pro wrestling. Saturday night, November 20th, New Japan Showdown, episodes one to four. Also that night, it's Pale Pro and Wrestle Pit Blast Off featuring Shane Taylor Promotions versus the main event. We wrap up the night at 10 p.m. with Impact Wrestling Turning Point. Moose makes his first Impact World Title defense against Eddie Edwards. Nikki James puts her knockouts title on the line against Mercedes Martinez. The Inspiration defend against the Decay in a knockouts World Tag Team title rematch. The Good Brothers defend the Impact World Tag Team titles against the Bullet Club. And X Division champion Trey Miguel defends against Laredo Kid. As always, check fight.tv for time and availability in your market as well as our wide array of free content each and every day. I'm Josh Chernoff, and this has been Fight in 60. We are back on Championship Wrestling, presented by Car Shield. Zicky Dice throughout the commercial break, dipping in and out of the ring, just taunting anyone who would give him any attention 
thus far not very pleased with his performance here against Pedro Pablo. And certainly, Zicky Dice throwing a complete wrench in the momentum that was building for Pedro Pablo. Now, oh no, Pedro! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh, Pedro taking matters into his own hands. That is the fiery spirit. That is that is that is the working of someone that is so much on the line, so much that they've sacrificed to be here and to fight a championship wrestling. That's what Pablo's all about. Heading up to the top, looking to take a risk. Cross body connects. Center of the ring got the boom. Zicky Dice able to kick out a two. So close to a massive upset. Can Pedro Pablo find a way? European uppercut in the corner. And look, Zicky Dice may obviously have the size and the strength over Pedro Pablo, but Pablo has a lot of power behind his strikes. And again, so much that he is fighting for. Oh no. Uh oh. Dice catches him face first into the top turnbuckle. Now, oh my God, German suplex and Pedro Pablo landing on the back of his cervical spine. That could be the beginning of the end. Cover. No. Wow. The you, resilience of Pablo. You gotta wonder what goes through the mind of a competitor when they're able to dig down deep and kick out. Meanwhile, Zicky Dice. Oh, no, 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 Zicky. Plenty of things that stink about Zicky Dice, that's for oh. sure. Pedro! Don't let it happen, Pedro, don't let it happen! Zicky Dice, too conceited for his own good. Oh. And Pablo desperately trying to fight a way back oh. in this matchup, and there go the fingers into his own mouth! And a bit of a stunner there. Turnabout's fair play. But Zicky Dice remaining in control here. But look out! Hey! Whoa! Incredible agility from Pedro Pablo. That's an uppercut. Little Mac would have been proud of in punch out. P double driver! Right into the cover. Huge upset. Oh. No, Zicky Dice gets the right shoulder Wait. up. And why is Danny Jordan here? Oh, come on. We have seen Zicky Dice and Danny Jordan taking part in all types of antics over these past few months. And now for some reason, Danny Jordan is here. Pedro Pablo needs to stay focused here, Alyssa. I mean, I'm here for Danny Jordan's outfit, but yes, Pedro Pablo needs to keep his head on a swivel. Okay, the referee's got to get control here. Danny Jordan on the apron. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Marty Bell? Whoa, Marty! What? Marty Bell has finally Wait. had enough of the insults of Danny Jordan. Our broadcast colleague can only take so much, but Zicky Dice off the distraction, the power bomb, and the victory. Here is your winner, Zicky Dice. With this victory by Zicky Dice, let's go to check out the replay brought to us by Lux Jewelers of Atlanta. Danny Jordan trying to cause a distraction on the top of the apron. Marty Bell, we've seen insult after insult for a number of months, finally had enough, put the microphone down, wanted to fight Danny Jordan, and Zicky Dice taking full advantage. And a vicious power bomb for the victory. Zicky Dice remains undefeated, but Danny Jordan appears to have injured her left wrist. You can't trust either one of them. Nonetheless, Zicky Dice with the victory. Here on Championship Wrestling, Heather Monroe, Rekatahaka, your one match apiece and one more match to go is third time the charm. And not just a third match, David. It's the main event. And do you know why it's the main event? It's not because of Rekka. It's because of me. Because I am the queen of Championship Wrestling. And Rekka... I know you got one little baby fluke over me, and that's fine. You come in here, you're young, you're feisty, you want it really bad. But skill outweighs want, and I have skill. So this main event is going to end the exact way that the last one did, with her on her back and me getting the one, two, three. And then, Rekka, you'll learn your place. Bye, David. For a place, a people, an idea, for right and freedom, for liberty and justice for all, for every square inch, between fruited plains and spacious skies. Marine 
Marines fight to win. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Standing by here with Alan. Now, Alan, if he's all over the place, he's saying your name. What are your thoughts? Effie, huh? Okay. Well, first of all, I accept this challenge. If Effie wants to wrestle me, he can. I understand that Effie's whole shtick here, his whole gimmick is that he's a main eventer. He wants to be in the main event. One thing I need Effie to understand is that this isn't a main event because Effie's in it. This is a main event because I'm in it. I know he has a bunch of pride because he's some self-made guy. He's a self-made superstar. He generated a little bit of a buzz without having a contract, right? <laughs> One thing I think he's going to take away from this match next week is that there's a difference between self-made superstars and real superstars. All right, next week, big time main event, this man versus Effie. From Atlanta, Georgia, this is your main event of the evening. Introducing first, from Des Moines, Iowa, she is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe! Well, Alyssa, we've had a couple of rivalries that have become very bitter and heated, essentially since the inception of Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. This is one of them, the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. She evened the score last month, but now she believes more than ever the spotlight needs to go back on her and stay on her. Well, certainly, and you gotta see after, you know, enjoying her vacation, celebrating her win from, you know, we got that uh, promo from her on vacation. Heather Monroe is really basking in the adulation of the crowd here in Atlanta. Uh, whether that is perceived or uh, real, we, we don't know. We're about to find out if she's certainly enjoying the fan that she used off the head of her opponent in their last matchup. Samoan Savage, Rekka Tahaka. Those eyes are focused on one target, and that target is the Killer Bay. And oh, oh. okay. Rekka Tahaka charging to the ring, not wasting any time. The bell has rung. This match is officially underway, and now a cluster of right hands to the skull of Heather Monroe, who's trying to run for higher ground. Rekka Tahaka is no holds barred oh. right now, Johnny. Too much has built up over time. Too many corners have been cut by Heather Monroe. And Tahaka with a baseball slide, now attacking Heather Monroe. This match has already spilled to the outside. And what a powerful right hand. And Rekka Tahaka, without a doubt, one of the fastest rising stars in professional wrestling. And many would say that has gotten Heather Monroe very jealous. Oh, certainly that has got to grind the gears of the self-proclaimed queen of the women's division here at Championship Wrestling. Heather Monroe's been a stalwart of the United Wrestling Network, and this definitely gets under her skin that Rekka Tahaka has gone so far so quickly. Well, that can't be questioned, but these two athletes need to get back inside the ring before the count of 10, or we're going to have a double count out here, and uh, seemingly no resolution to this rivalry between Tahaka and Heather Monroe. Since the debut episode of Championship Wrestling, there have been problems brewing between these two competitors. There really has, of course, the first matchup, Rekka Tahaka scoring the victory and Heather Monroe was livid, refusing to even acknowledge that it was a victory for Tahaka. And you see Heather Monroe clearly not looking ready for any kind of physicality here. Well, I think Heather really enjoyed her vacation. She was feeling, you know, refreshed, but, but maybe just needs that to jog her memory here in the ring. Well, all it did was draw the ire of Rekka Tahaka, especially the way Heather Monroe even the score using the metal section of her fan crashing off the skull of Rekka Tahaka, and that brings us to right now, one match apiece. Something has to give between Tahaka and Heather Monroe in this main event tonight. Heather Monroe said she wants Rekka to acknowledge her as superior, and a win over Rekka Tahaka would do that tonight. Well, Alyssa, you've known Heather Monroe for a very long time. She is a very demanding individual, but Rekka Tahaka does not answer to anyone. She doesn't cower down to anyone, and Rekka Tahaka has some of the most powerful strikes in professional wrestling. Tahaka said that a queen is not someone by name alone. A queen is someone that proves it in the ring. 
And certainly Rekka wants to make Heather prove it. If she wants, if she wants that title, if she wants to be the superior woman here in the women's division, yeah. Rekka is gonna make Heather earn it. Well, the pressure is certainly on the Killer Bay as the veteran to score the victory here. But Rekka Tahaka in the same token, she wants to continue her momentum. The entire professional wrestling world is buzzing about Rekka Tahaka. And of course, Heather Monroe would love nothing more than to squash all of that. Ooh, cross oh, cross body no. here by Tahaka, right into a cover, hooks the leg, and Monroe able to kick out at two. Tahaka quick to wipe out Heather Monroe, but again, this is someone, Heather's hailed herself as a pillar of this division, but again, while she was on vacation celebrating her win, you know, indulging in some island beverages, Rekka Tahaka was training. She was working, she was getting better, getting stronger, so that she can do things like this to Heather Monroe. Ooh. Rights and left to the midsection, now an uppercut. And let's be honest, that's all Rekka Tahaka knows is hard work and motivation and dedication. I mean, she is a complete powerhouse. And look, as skilled as Heather Monroe is, unlike the Killer Bay, Rekka Tahaka prefers to let her actions do all the talking for her. You are absolutely right, Johnny. I asked Rekka what it would mean to her to be the queen of the women's division, and she said that she doesn't need to be given a title. She doesn't need to be considered royalty. She knows who she is, and that's what matters. There really is no ego for Rekka Tahaka, but what a counter there by Heather Monroe. The second rope right off the throat, and now, oh! Modified camel clutch there. Heather Monroe with all of the leverage and Rekka Tahaka just like that. Monroe is in control. Can Rekka Tahaka find a way back in this matchup? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to our main event presented by Car Shield. Heather Monroe remains in control and now a splash in the corner. And this is the first time all matchup we are seeing Rekka Tahaka in a very vulnerable position. Yes, certainly things are looking precarious for Rekka Tahaka. Heather's in charge right now and ready to capture a win. The Killer Bay into a cover and Rekka Tahaka clearly showing signs of fatigue, but she's able to kick out. And now, whoa, look at the Killer Bay. Showing off a variety of her submission maneuvers, and this is why the Killer Bay is so skilled. It's not necessarily her attitude, which does get inside the head of her opponents, but it's her skills inside the ring. And I'll say, too, Heather Monroe is someone that is always full of surprises. We aren't used to seeing this kind of super intricate submissions from the Killer Bay. And you can see all the pressure on the left elbow, the left brachial plexus as Rekka Tahaka able to roll oh. over to take that pressure off just a little bit. Oh, into a oh. cover here, and Monroe has to kick out here. Very wise of Rekka to Ooh. be able to shift the, the leverage that Heather Monroe. But Heather Monroe, there's something just so, so intriguing about the ego factor. Yeah. She's is very that, condescending and brash, that is for sure. But it's something where, does Heather feel as though she is owed this kind of superiority, this recognition that she's demanding from Rekka? Alyssa, you know Heather Monroe very well. I think you also know the answer to that question. Absolutely. Heather Monroe is the longest tenured woman in the United Wrestling Network, and she's here in Atlanta because she wants to remain the most respected and longest tenured woman in the United Wrestling Network. Well, a shift in momentum. Rekka oh. Haka able to evade and now... Gosh, Heather is back in charge. It's just as you said. Off the top turnbuckle, but that may have provided a bit of a second win for Rekka Tahaka. And look, we have seen, if there's one thing you don't want to do to Rekka Tahaka, it's attack the head and the skull. And now the tables may be turning. That is a fortified oh skull. God. Oh! Heather Monroe is oh. absolutely frazzled. And now the Samoan Savage looking to go on the attack, but once again, the wily Heather Monroe with a vicious clothesline, and once again, down goes Tahaka. Monroe hustling into a cover here, doesn't hook the leg, and Tahaka able to kick out. But did Heather Monroe spend too much time enjoying what she was doing to Rekka instead of focusing on picking up the win in that moment. She spent a little too much time feeding her own ego. I think we saw that in the eyes of Monroe. She did realize it herself and now a backbreaker slowly and methodically trying to wear down Rekka Tahaka. Another cover and Tahaka kicks out but every single pinning predicament takes more and more out of the Samoan Savage and now another 
Submission maneuver there. The boot right to the back of the, the lumbar spine. You see all the pressure there. Once again, attacking the left shoulder as well. And this is something that Rekka has been subjected to before at the hands of Heather Monroe, but Heather is completely incensed. And she, Monroe is right where she wants to be. Rekka Tahaka, nowhere near safety, cannot get to the ropes. And Heather Monroe continues to have this maneuver locked in, all the pressure on the left shoulder and the lumbar spine, and Rekka Tahaka fights her way over, inch by inch to get to the bottom rope. Just enough, able to pull herself to the safety of the bottom rope is Rekka, but Heather is right back on it. No, wait! Tahaka clearly showing signs of damage with not having too much power left underneath her legs, but both of these women just trading right hands in the center of the ring. So much ferocity between these two competitors. And don't forget, this match right from the outset was on fire. Rekka Tahaka charging after Heather Monroe. Great minds think alike. These two women oh. are working in stereo. Double clothesline, both Tahaka and Heather Monroe down on the canvas. Like mirror images, so much on the line between these two competitors fighting for superiority within the women's division here at United Wrestling Network. You have Heather Monroe willing to do anything to get ahead as we saw in their last matchup. You have Rekka Tahaka, so prideful, so focused, so riled up. It would mean everything to get a victory tonight. What is going to happen between Tahaka and Heather Monroe? Could you imagine after all is said and done for all the matches these two women oh. have shared together for, for Rekka Tehaka to be able to put away Monroe with these headbutts? And a oh, Samoan drop as well. Right now a cover goes to Haka. And oh, Heather Monroe just gets the right shoulder up. But you saw the force behind the second headbutt. Heather Monroe got sent all the way across the road. That was undeniable, Johnny. And I think Heather, for whatever wherewithal, Heather has left in her brain, in her skull. I think Heather knows that uh, it got dangerously close for her there. Well, you could say plenty about the personality uh -oh. of Monroe, but she is very intelligent in the ring. You see Tahaka going for the coconut crusher, which led to Heather Monroe's demise earlier in their first matchup, but Monroe able to scout it. Monroe had enough of her bearings to fight her way out. Now Tahaka looking to improvise here. Oh, maybe for going for a slingshot suplex, but now Hanging Monroe up to dry, and Monroe in a difficult position. A pump kick, and Monroe is out on her back. Tahaka falling into a cover, and that could be it. No, Monroe stays alive. So much has, so much has transpired between Heather Monroe and Rekka Tahaka. It's with everything here on the line, in the ring, what is it going to take? Neither of these women is going to give the other an inch. Well, you hear everyone in Atlanta firmly behind Rekka Tahaka, but Heather Monroe could care less. She just needs to find a way to get back in this matchup as Tahaka looking to pick up the momentum here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, my! Oh. And a snap, full Nelson suplex into a cover, and Tahaka finds a way to escape. Heather Monroe was going into full-on meltdown mode. Is the frustration getting to the killer bay? I think that goes without saying. I mean, Heather Monroe doesn't know what she has to do at this point to put down the powerful Rekka Tahaka. Caught up. Ooh. And a right hand by Monroe. Looking to find a way. Tahaka now hoisting uh -oh. up Monroe. Perhaps another... Samoan drop, and now Monroe scouting that as well. Picks her up. Oh! Bad Bishinoku! Right in the center of the ring into a cover, and Tahaka once again able to power out with her core strength. I don't know if Heather Monroe has the bandwidth to process a competitor kicking out of the Bad Bishinoku. The Killer Bay is shell shocked. The, resi the resilience of Rekka Tehaka is just unfathomable. And the grit of Heather Monroe has been on display, but the question is, what else will it take? Now Heather looking to put an end to Rekka Tehaka, but no Tehaka now. 
clocks the killer bay. Oh. Another headbutt to Aka connects. Doing some damage to herself in the Wait process. Oh, the coconut crusher. Monroe is down That's to it. Aqua. Puts Here down is your Monroe. Winner, Rekha Tehaka. The perseverance and the power of Rekha Tehaka finally overcomes the Killer Bay Heather Monroe. And it was the coconut crusher that did the work. Rekha Tehaka put everything on the line to come out victorious against the Killer Bay. And I mean, someone should probably follow up with Heather Monroe. I don't know how she's gonna take this loss. Well, as we go back to check out a replay here brought to us by Lux Jewelers in Atlanta. Throughout this matchup, it was so evenly matched, shot for shot, strike for strike. But in the end, it was power over technique. It was Rekha Tahaka with the Coconut Crusher that finally put away Heather Monroe for good and seemingly an end to this vicious rivalry as Rekha Tahaka stands tall victorious tonight as we thank you so much for tuning in to Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. We will see you next week.